Hello, and welcome back to Trans Talks. The first video that I was recommended to make was by um, someone I know, and they wanted a video uh, explaining how to come out as trans. Um, that's always a difficult process, and it's, it's, it's never going to be easy. If you think that coming out is going to be easy, you're going to be disappointed. It is never easy. So, I have 10 tips here for you to come out as transgender, whether it be female to male, male to female, or uh, non-binary, to your friends, family, co-workers, etc, etc. <clears throat> Tip number one, come out to yourself. The first thing you need to do is be able to accept that you're transgender. That can take longer than you think. Sometimes it just feels right, but other times you need to actually accept it. That was the case with me. For the longest time, I know my parents desperately wanted uh, a baby girl, so I felt very guilty that I wasn't a girl. So I had to sort of come out to myself and let myself accept the fact that I am not what they wanted me to be, and I'm not what they expected me to be. But that's okay. I'm happier this way. And you will be too. The second tip is to have a name and pronouns ready. Um, it'll make things a lot easier if you don't have to go and have them wait on you picking a name and pronouns. If your pronouns tend to change, then just tell them that. Just tell them, hey, some days I want to be called he, some days I want to be called she, some days I want to be called uh, they or it or they whatever your now uh, pronouns are, um, and of course have a name. If you're changing your name, have it picked out. Um, the third tip is ease into it. Don't just straight up go and tell them, hey, I'm transgender. I mean, you can if you want. If that's how you want to go about it, then you know what? Go ahead. But I find it easier and they'll be more accepting if you sort of ease your way into it. like. Um, explain a bit about it, like transgender rights, and tell them about various transgender movements and, you know, how it works, so that you can kind of get a base reaction on how you think they'll react to it. Another good idea is to say your friend is transgender, make up a random friend, hell, use me if you want, say your friend Kevin is a transgendered male, and explain to them what it means and see what they think of it. Just be like, hey, what do you think of this? This is a thing that exists that people are talking about a lot. Um, step four um, is not a happy one. Pack up. Just in case, if you have a very religious uh, Christian family or any other religion that is not necessarily um, accepting and okay with transgender people, um, pack your stuff, just in case, because you want to be prepared. In this pack that you create, just in case, you should pick um, clean clothes, at least as many pairs as you can fit, hopefully at least three. Um, you should bring small things, a bar of soap, um, a toothbrush, toothpaste, some non-perishable food, a bus pass if you have one, some extra money, just something you can take with you that can give you sustenance if you get kicked out on the streets. That is the sad truth of our day and age, is that it's a legitimate concern that you could be kicked out onto the streets just for being transgender, where you could be homeless, you could be... You could be on the streets begging for money from people just because, oh my god, who would have thought your your gender doesn't line up with the one you were assigned with? It's insanity. Um, so pack up just in case. Uh, if all goes south, you have it ready. Um, step number five is write a letter explaining everything. In case you chicken out and don't feel like you can tell them yourself to their face, write down a letter explaining everything, saying, you know, dear mom and dad, dear friend's name, whatever, 
hey, I'm transgender, this is what it means, etc., etc., etc. And just explain everything as in-depth as possible as you, as you can there. So they'll read it and maybe go to a friend's house after you give it to them. So you, they have time to cool down after reading the letter. They can kind of cool down and you'll be in a safe location. Uh, step number six is provide vocabulary and reading material for them. Don't just say, hey, I'm transgender, and expect them to know what it means. You have to, you have to tell them. Most of the time, they won't know what it means. So tell them the definition of transgender. Tell them the definition of genderqueer. Tell them the definition of gender fluid and bi-gender, if, whatever your gender is. Tell them the definition, as well as some other basic definitions, like you know, female to male, male to female, even though those are a little bit outdated. Tell them that transsexual is outdated. Tell them that transvestite is outdated and considered derogatory in some places. Um, you know, explain these things so they, so they learn. And the more they learn about it, the more they'll understand it. And the more they understand it, the more understanding they'll be to it. And hopefully they will not be angry at you or lash out at you because of this. You know, it'll, it'll just make everything easier if you go and explain to them, hey, this is who I am, this is what these terms mean, I would like you to respect this. Um, con uh, step number seven is contact a trusted friend that you are already out to, just in case. Because if you do get kicked out of the house, now that you have your pack ready, It'd be very good for you to have somebody at house that you can go and sleep at if you need to. Um, it's just a precaution measure, but you, it's better safe than sorry, you know? Like, you don't, you don't want to be on the streets uh, after coming out. That's not going to be good. Um, the streets are dangerous, you know? It's rampant with drugs. There's, you know, the dangers of being hurt. So you don't want to be out there especially if you live in a dangerous area. So come out to a close, uh, close friend and see if you can go and have almost like a safe house and go and uh, sleep there for just a day or two if you can and you can get you know yourself on your feet. Stay there a long time if they'll let you. I mean it's, it's better than being in a family that doesn't accept who you are and doesn't accept like what makes you happy. Step number eight is pick a date. It makes everything a little bit easier if you pick a specific date, like this is the day I'm going to come out. This is the specific day that I'm going to tell everybody that I am transgender. It just makes everything easier. So pick a date, whether it be next year, it could be two years from now, hell, just pick a date. Um, makes everything more set in stone and such like that. Step number nine is um, be ready. Like mentally and emotionally prepare yourself because sometimes it won't go as you wanted it to. Like it, it just won't happen. Sometimes they'll retaliate. Sometimes they'll try to send you off to some Christian camp that's going to try to make you not transgender. Sometimes they'll go and kick you out of the house. Sometimes they'll go and try to convince you, hey, don't do this. You don't need to do this. This isn't natural. All that bullshit. They'll try to shove it down your throat sometimes. If your family is accepting, then they're accepting. And you're, it's great. It's all good. But mentally prepare yourself just in case. Because you can think they're as accepting as they are, and they could be, but it's good to mentally prepare yourself just in case they're not. Just so you can be mentally and emotionally prepared if things go self. And step 10, lastly and finally, is just come out. Just go sit them down if you're not choosing to do the letter and you want to do it in person, and just sit them down and say, Mom, Dad, I'm transgender. It means that the gender that I was assigned at birth does not match up with the one that I feel. If you're female to male, then you'll say, I feel like a boy. Or I, you can even use the old outdated terminology of, 
I'm a boy in a girl's body, just because even though it's outdated, to them it will make more sense. Because they don't understand the whole concept of, I'm a boy, this is my body, therefore it's a boy body. They don't understand that. So you need to use some outdated terminology for them. Um, if you're, you know, male to female, say, mom, dad, I'm a girl, and explain to them what it feels like to be a girl, how to, how you want to express your, um, femininity, I think that's the word for it, your feminine side, uh, you know, ask them to, uh, to, to, to let you cut your hair, or grow it out, either way, uh, get new clothes, um, and then extra little tip, uh, don't rush it, like, if you're a trans girl, and you just the next day go out and buy lots of makeup and buy like a lot of dresses and like your really pretty panties and all this happy stuff and throw it all on you might not feel so great like so sometimes you'll feel great sometimes you'll feel empowered and that that's good do that if it's what makes you happy but you don't have to you don't have to rush it you don't have to suddenly the very next day be like my name is this, my pronouns are this, you have to call me this, I'm wearing these clothes because I want to. You don't have to be like that. It's okay to take your time. It's okay to prefer if only people you don't know yet call you by your correct gender. And it's okay if you don't want or you don't feel like it's necessary for people that have known you for years to change pronouns and names right away. It's okay to give them time. It's okay to give yourself time. People need time to adjust to new things. Another thing I want to point out is it's okay if you misgender yourself. You, you know, it, it happens. You've been called a boy or a girl your entire life. So for it to change is a change for you too. As much as it internally does not feel like a change, because you've likely felt like that, whether it be for a year, for a week, for it, all your life, you felt like that. It can still be weird to speak it or address it. So you could accidentally say she to when talking to yourself, or you could accidentally say he when talking to yourself. It doesn't make you any less trans. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not trans enough, because that is the worst feeling to feel that you're not enough especially if it's by your own community um that's basically all the tips i can give uh if you stuck through this video i'm i really hope it helped you out like if you need any other tips feel free to come to me i'm always willing to help you out that's that's what i'm here for it's what i strive to do is to help people um if you like this video please subscribe or like it um, comment any other suggestions that you want me to talk about in future. Um, and I hope you all have a really great day. Alright, see ya.